You might hear a lot of people say that you need to start your cybersecurity career in help desk. Or maybe you've applied to a handful of job applications for a security analyst role only to be rejected, so you're now beginning to believe that help desk purgatory is not a myth. So in this video, I'll share my thoughts and experience on whether or not that's actually a thing. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jono and I'm a cybersecurity analyst. And today we'll answer your question on whether or not you need to work at a help desk before going into cybersecurity. First, let's understand why this help desk purgatory myth even exists. If you're not new to cybersecurity, then you know for a fact that this is not a beginner level career path. Similar to how you need to know maths and physics to become an engineer, or chemistry to work as a researcher in a lab, you need to know your way around computers for cybersecurity. I hope that comparison kind of makes sense. I kind of just made it up on the spot, but you get what I mean. So in order for you to know your way around computers in practice, the most common way is through help desk. And when you're working at a help desk, you spend the majority of your time helping people to diagnose their computer, issues like why their VPN isn't working or why their external device isn't turning on. These type of work may seem easy and boring, but to me, after working as a cybersecurity analyst for a while now, I think this is a valuable skill to have. And that is problem solving. Specifically, problem solving outside the box. What I mean by that is, let's say for example, a user has a laptop and they are complaining that they can't connect to a company's file sharing portal. Now, if you don't really have any problem solving skills, then you would probably take the person's word for it and think that it's the file sharing portal that's the issue. But let's say you do have problem solving skills, then you will start by checking if this is an isolated issue. This can be easily checked by just going onto the file sharing portal by yourself. And if it works, then it's more likely to be an isolated issue to the user. Now we can go down to the next layer of troubleshooting to see if the user has any other connectivity settings. Sometimes company resources can only be accessed on company VPN. So the next step is obviously to check if the user is connected to the company's VPN. These kind of troubleshooting steps are called L1 support or level one support. And if the L1 troubleshooting doesn't fix the issue, then you would just escalate it to the higher levels or the relevant teams. These kind of problem solving skills might seem seem straightforward, but believe me, I've seen many people, even some in help desk, who lacks this kind of skill. But the good thing is, this is something you can learn. And to learn this skill, unfortunately, you just gotta be working in the help desk for a while. Now, of course, there will always be exceptions to this. Personally, I didn't start in help desk because I have a computer science and a software engineer background, so I already know my way around computers. Okay, let's talk about some of the experiences from people that I know who transitioned from help desk to cybersecurity. From what I can see, every one of them had their sights on a security analyst role as their next career progression. I would say that if you have worked at help desk long enough, it's going to be much easier for you to get into the cybersecurity team. Because at some point during your job, you would have definitely worked with some of the security guys. My personal experience was with one help desk guy who I reached out to help with troubleshooting a user's problem. And he was a great guy. Good vibes, good to talk with, understands how to problem solve, and he expressed interest in joining the security team. And because I've worked with him on multiple occasions already, he was no stranger to me, so I referred him. And because he was no stranger to our team, there wasn't any big barrier. More of the story is, when you're just working at a job, not just specifically help desk, but any job that you're starting out with, if your end goal is to get into another team or another role, it's a really good way to network with them and be on good terms. The chances are higher for you compared to some random we need to interview. Okay, now what are my personal thoughts on this help desk purgatory myth? I think if you have a very limited problem solving experience and computer skills, then it's a real thing. And if you don't gain these skills and experience from help desk, it'll be hard for you either way. There are definitely other ways to get into cybersecurity, not just through help desk. You can do certificates and courses which will help you with your fundamental knowledge. But I guess at the end of the day, there are always pros and cons to each method. Personally, I think if you come from a non-technical background and you don't really have much experience in the relevant industry, then help desk is the way to go. And while you're working at this job, upskill yourself on the side with cybersecurity courses. That way, you can have actual work experience while learning the basic theoretical knowledge on the side 
which you could potentially apply back onto your job. Sort of like a feedback loop, I guess. There's not really an easy way around this. You just need to put in the work. I thought I should make this short video since I've noticed this has been a recurring question. After listening to me yapping away for so long, you might be interested to know the career progression when you get into cybersecurity. Check out this video up the top here or down in the description where I run through your potential pathways and the salary you can earn. As always, make sure to give a comment down below on any thoughts or videos that you want to watch. Thanks for watching. Bye.